Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is July's beauty haul for you guys. So I'm going to run through all the beauty items I have bought. The first things that I have bought this month is new shampoo and conditioner. And the ones that I went for were actually from Superdrug and they were on offer at the time. And it's the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Shampoo. Uh, it's organic and here's the packaging. And I also got the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Conditioner. Um, so yeah, these are both organic. They're fairly decent sizes. The packaging isn't amazingly pretty because of the colour, um, but I really like it. It makes my hair feel really soft. It feels really good. My hair looks really healthy afterwards. So yeah, I really, really like these at the moment. Um, and I've been using them all month. The next thing that I bought is the Iced Strawberry Dream Treacle Moon Body Wash and Shower Gel bath and shower gel sorry um it smells i got these i get these from tesco um and they smell really really good and i think they're supposed to be a cheaper version of the philosophy bath and shower gels that you can get they have the nice print on the front and they have all the print on the back and everything so yeah really nice as well um this is like my third one or something i had a christmasy one i've had a raspberry one I think and now I'm on to strawberry. The next thing I have here for my collection is the Be the breakfast scrub by Soap and Glory. Um, as you most of you will know if I have put it up before um, I do like to use the Soap and Glory uh, Flake Away I think it's called yeah Flake Away and I decided I'll try a different one so this is the packaging it's got a wrapper on it and it's called the breakfast scrub with oat shea butter and sugar body smoother in it with organic bio scrubs, bananas, almonds and honey extracts. Now, ooh, doesn't smell amazingly girly or anything, I've already dipped into it, but it does smell kind of nice. So we'll have to see if that one works as well as the other one. Uh, the next thing I have is the Heal Genius by Soap and Glory as well. Um, I have been really liking this. I really seem to be loving their products at the moment. Um, with all the lovely sunshine we've been having, I've been treating my feet really well and been using this, and it seems to be doing the job. So happy, happy, happy. Very good purchase there. So I also got, this is a sample, and I also got the, this one, Gets Locks Glam Again Replenishing Treatment. Now I tried this, I got it with the, um, with an order I made on Superdrug Online and it is amazing. I'm definitely going to be purchasing it again to try a bigger, um, a few more um, tries of it because I only managed to use this once. But yeah, it made my hair feel amazingly soft afterwards so hopefully this will definitely be in the August haul for you guys and hopefully even in a favourites video if I get to film one. The next beauty product that we have here, I have lots, I've got my little basket of goodies I've been next thing I have here is a mini haul from Benefit Cosmetics and this is the Stay Flawless 15 hour primer um, which I purchased which is relatively new and it's called Stay Flawless and it's amazing I love it I should have done a first impressions video on it um, however I forgot to film it um, but but hopefully maybe I'll film myself using it for a makeup tutorial or film using it anyway because it's very different from other primers. You roll it onto your face. It's like a glue stick. You just kind of roll it on and then you put your foundation on top. So yeah, that's that. It's absolutely amazing and I love it. And the next thing I got from Benefit, which I'm excited about, is the The Rich Is Back by Matthew Williamson. Now, this is an absolutely amazing... Um, if we can get it out of the box amazing palette it's got tips and tricks inside and then it has the products inside it's missing the mascara because I took it out um, but yeah I'll maybe do something with that for you guys soon <laughs> comment down below if you'd like to see a video I'm going to go into nail polishes because I got a ridiculous amount of nail polish this month so I went a bit nail polish crazy and I got the limited edition Barry M nail paint um, in the shade 
Okay, there is no shade, so I can't tell you that. But I got the limited edition for summer 2013. It's a very pink neon colour. And then I have here the Jelly High Shine Nail Paint by Barry M. Because I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I got that colour. And then I also got by Barry M is the Confetti Effects Dolly Mix, this one's called. And that's the... You can't really see it very well. But I thought that looked cute, especially with this blue one. Oh, uh, this one's called Blueberry. And then the next nail polish I've got are the five Essie nail polishes. This one's a um, Baby Boy or Baby Girl by Essie. And the colours in here are La Paz of Luxury and Mun Munchy Munchy. It's like a pink and a blue. And then I also got the Sunday Fun Day which is this one here and I love this colour, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's a coral with like shimmer in it and then I also got Fiji which I've been wanting to get for months and it's like a baby pink colour, um, very neutrally kind of looking if you're after a more subtle colour and then the last one I got is this like greeny bluey colour but I can't tell you the colour I'm afraid because I don't know what it is it says turquoise and Kacos on the back or something like that um, I'm not 100% sure, I meant to get mint candy apple but that's what I thought that was, but I obviously picked up the wrong one. And then we have here some mascara, and this is by Maybelline Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. I bought that this month because I haven't used it in a very long time, so I want to see if I can rekindle a love for that. We also have here the Maybelline Volume Express um, Mascara, the Falsies. Um, love this mascara. Um, I've repurchased it uh, three or four times now. It's obviously going to be staying in my makeup collection for a while, so I got that one as well. I also have here the MUA Makeup Academy Professional Undressed Eyeshadow Palette, and it's just a neutral eyeshadow palette. Um, has a brush, which I've taken out, and that's the palette there. And it's just all neutral colours. It's got a couple of pinky tones, um, two a black and like a navyish blacky blue colour um, and a couple of golds in there but amazing colours and I'm loving them at the moment. Um, I got a bit wild and I got myself a purple eyeliner from Rimmel, this is the Scandalize and oop, I really wanted to try something new, that's a swatch of it on my hand. So I got that one and I also got a more neutrally one just to brighten my eyes. And this is a Scandalize and this is in 005 Nude and the other one is in 013 Purple. And I'll just put them next to each other. And it's just a nude, you can hardly even really see it. Um, so that's just a nude colour to brighten my eyes. And then I also got a white one to brighten as well, and this is again Rimmel London Soft Coal um, 071 Pure White. And again, it's just to use as a lightening product for to brighten up my eyes, especially if I'm looking tired because my little boy hasn't been sleeping very well recently. The next thing that I absolutely definitely need to film favourites for, except for the fact that the writings come off the bottle is the, is the collection um, 16 hour lasting perfection concealer this is amazing it is better than any high-end concealer I have like the Bobbi Brown one although I probably put them in the same category it's only £4.19 mm -hmm. and it covers up under eye circles amazingly well I will wear this just on its own sometimes with the rest of my makeup and not even put foundation on at all it's that good so go and buy yourself this the next thing we have is a Maybelline Fresh Dream Fresh BB Cream. Um, I tried out the L'Oreal one and I wasn't amazed by it. Um, it just seemed to look really orangey on my skin. But this one's amazing. It just adds a subtle bit of coverage, um, even that skin tone, and it just looks really nice for around the house or day to the beach or something. So yeah, love this product as well. I have an MUA eyeshadow and this is in shade 19. It's a matte colour just like this and it's just a dark brownie colour because I don't really have very many matte browns so I just wanted to pick one up and that's the colour of it there and then for lips we have I bought two 
Revlon lip glosses and I bought an MUA lipstick. Now even though the MUA products are really, really cheap, I think this lipstick was a pound, they are actually really good. I actually currently have the this lipstick on my lips right now. It's in the shade do, 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 14, Bare. Um, it's a really pretty colour. It's just a nude shade. And if I just swatch it, it reminds me of the MAC, I think it's Cherish. I'll have to have a look, but that's what it reminds me of. It's really creamy, it's really hydrating, and they don't feel tacky or anything on your lips. And I'm actually wearing it with the Revlon lip gloss that I have here, and I just think they go really, really well together. They complement each other so well. So this is the Revlon lip gloss, and I can't find the shade. Revlon Super Lustrous 215, that is. Um, and it's just a neutral colour again, could be worn on its own. And that is the lip gloss in the middle there, that one there. And the other lipstick that I bought, because I've just gone and fetched it, is the Revlon Lip Butter. Oh no, Revlon Colour Burst, yeah, Lip Butter, and this is in 015 Tutti Frutti. So it's like a corally orange colour, it looks really, really kind of bright and out there, but it's not that pigmented at all. That's it on the top of my hand there. It doesn't look that in your face. And then it goes really well with this lip gloss that I have here by Revlon, and that's 215 Kiss Me Coral. Uh, I actually saw this in a Tanya Burr video and I thought it was a gorgeous colour so I went and purchased it and it goes so well with the lipstick as well. Um, I've put that directly above the lipstick so you can tell there's hardly any difference apart from the fact that this is more shimmery and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it actually as well. Um, so that is my haul video for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll film a favourites video and a couple of tutorials all the products I have here and hopefully I will see you all again soon. So I will speak to you soon guys. Bye. The next thing that I got this month is the... Oh, there's a bit of hair there. Ugh. That made me think there was a spider on me. The next thing... Hmm. Next thing I have here, non... Um... I don't even know why I said that. The collection 2000... Oh, it's not even 2000 anymore, it's just collection. When did that happen? Is the collection 2000... Um, it's not 2000, is it? It's just collection. Oh, we left an MUA product in the bottom here. Oh, God, I've got my glasses on.